Let's start by opening the configuration management. To do so, click the configuration management, and the configuration management will appear in a new window with several options, as seen on the screen. Next, we'll perform batch configuration, which requires opening the configuration window, clicking on the configuration management tab, and then selecting batch data configuration management by clicking on the data batch configuration management option. In the next box, select the RNC you wish to modify. Then, if you want to search for the specific parameter you want to change, all you have to do is type it into the search field. Now, let us try to choose one specific parameter from the list of parameters on the Excel sheet and search for it using the search option in the NetLumen. For instance, if we choose the HSDPA user number parameter, we may copy and paste it into the search box by preceding our search phrase with a dollar symbol. The search will be carried out automatically, and the results will be presented in a separate window. As you can see, a total of 1,305 entries matching the search parameters were found and displayed over several pages. To that end, the number of lines of records presented in one view may be adjusted as 100, 200, or 500 line of pages per view. As you can see, the specific parameter searched is highlighted in blue, distinct from the other parameter column. If you want to change the parameter for all the objects now displayed in the searched window, click here, in the entry right at the top. Press Shift key. And then scroll down to the bottom of the page. Then, click on the last entry, right click, and choose Modify in the pop-up option window. After selecting Modify, a pop-up window will open in which you may enter the specific parameter values you want in the box. For example, let's change the user number from 96 to 128. When you click OK, the Modify window will automatically close. Then, in the upper left corner, locate the Save button and click it. The Save box will then appear, displaying the target object to which the modifications are to be applied. Click Apply for, then Close, and the changes will be saved. Saving is finally finished, and we may exit by clicking the close button in the save window. Let us build on the last exercise by attempting to alter the same parameter that we changed in batch for many sites, but this time for single sites using the search option. Let us try to search for a site using the user label and we will do it by selecting the user label for the specific attribute we want to look for. The like operation is the one we want to use for this particular instance. In this example let us search for site ID 312253, and to do that let us enter the site ID in the search box and click apply to make a filter, based on the specified criteria. The filter criteria are applied automatically and result in the specified site parameter values. Let's go to the maximum HSDPA user number parameter field and make the same changes as before. Then save the change and proceed with the synchronization.